Welcome back to our Chicago Bears online user franchise. It is week 18 in season two, and we are about to be playing against the Arizona Cardinals, who are 10 and 6. We do not technically have a reason to play this, but there are stats and awards that can be achieved, and that could mean everything when it comes down to how the team goes forward. Maybe this isn't our year, and, you know, guy like Swift getting to superstar could be massive for maybe the next season or the year after. So, even though we're risking injury for the playoffs now, these potential DevOps are probably worth making that risk. Uh, guys like Uche, 17 sacks is great, but if he were to get like four or five sacks, I mean, that would pretty much guarantee him a dev up, right? Uh, Brisker, I think he wins best DB if he gets maybe a pick or two. So, I mean, there's some things on the line outside of just, you know, staying healthy, making the playoffs, you know, and, uh, you know, doing well in them. Uh, you know, these, these stats could mean the difference between a dev up or not getting deved up. And you guys like Edmonds could really use a dev up. You know, obviously Uche, so you can get to X-Factor and get an extra ability, and we can re-roll him maybe for edge threat. Obviously Swift, obviously Mooney. Don't know if Mooney's going to get it, but he does have a lot of touchdowns. That might be enough to trigger on its own. Uh, and then defensively, we have some other guys here. You know, there's there's definitely some names. Jalen Johnson, more picks. If he ends up stealing it from Brisker, you know, Defensive Player of the Year guarantees a dev up. So if it's possible, I would like Johnson to, like, pass Brisker with some interceptions, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Either way, let's take a look at the Cardinals, who have a very good running back in Allen, uh, which we'll see in a moment. He's having himself a year. Mason Smith is injured with a one-weaker, but his running back is, I mean, at this point in time, best running back award winner so far, best offensive player of the year, best rookie. He's got a lot going for himself, but if this is a week where if we were to limit his touchdowns, we might be able to steal the award with Swift, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, he's got the rookie quarterback starting over Murray, which is interesting. And then here's Allen, uh, already a superstar, I believe. Very versatile back, looks great. Uh, and then looking at wide receiver Marquise Brown, super speedy. Tyler Boyd, not a bad number two. Osborne, you know, he's just there for now. Rondell Moore, not starting, I think because he's benched, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit of the old stat pad, I believe. Uh, but Trey McBride looks great. Left tackle's okay. Left guard's not the best. Center's a rookie, so give him a chance. Right guard is Hernandez. Right tackle, of course, is really good on his way up. Marcus Davenport is here. Decent power move. Okay, block shed. OJ uh, Ojulari, BJ Ojulari, really good finesse. DT's Odigazua, not terrible. I don't know if he had a guy, you know, got a dev up with him or not. DT2, he might need a replace. Owen Papo, very, very fast. Scary guy to go against. Isaiah Simmons, very, very fast. Hard guy to go against. And then Pace on the outside. Definitely not as fast. <laughs> Cornerbacks, Kalen King. Very fast. Great man. Decent zone. Martin Emerson looks pretty damn good, too. Darnay Holmes is an all right number three. Uh, Thompson, the free safety. Low zone, but okay athleticism. Buda Baker, amazing strong safety. So he's got a lot of potential on this team. So this is not a game that we're guaranteed to win. Now, do we really need it? No. Will I be risking our players? You know, we're getting a bunch of hit sticks on fields or something like that to win this game? Probably not. So... We'll play this by ear. If things are going well, it's clean, and we have a chance to win, we'll do it. But I'm not going to do anything too crazy to risk uh, the longevity of this team, especially for this season's playoffs. Uh, and then Uche, already really good finesse, but I think you just keep going up and up as it'll give him a better chance to play better because that morale isn't going to stick around forever once season two is or season three is up. You know, it's going to go away. But obviously, didn't get a finesse here. I do feel like the higher you get that like rating the lower a chance you get of the actual thing you're looking for, like finesse, or if it was man coverage, you know, man coverage stuff. Uh, good zone, Brisker with an Excel as well, very good safety. A lot of morale boost in this one, but here we go. The final week of the regular season is about to be underway. Looking at his superstars and whatnot, we got a lot of them ourselves, but Buda Baker, unfakeable, which is pretty good, especially when you get to that second level. Pick Artist is pretty good, and the mid-zone KO, very good. Marquise Brown, matchup nightmare. I don't, once again, think he's allowed to play. Oh, no, it is him. Ronnell Moore is not allowed to play, I don't think. But matchup nightmare, mid in elite and deep in elite, which is pretty good. Uh, Braylon Allen, probably a low overall superstar, so his abilities weren't great. But balance beam's okay, and backlash, not bad, I suppose. And then, of course, Marcus Davenport with adrenaline rush, which is, I mean, kind of useless if we're going to be 100% honest. Let's make sure that this is set, and let us get into this game. And here we are, going up against the Cardinals. We're in Glendale, Arizona. Who gets the ball first? He does, so maybe we'll get a feel for what kind of game this might be. That's going to be too punishing. 
Maybe the guys don't come out at all. Swift, I don't want to lose him, but at the same time, we have a very deep running back room, and him getting a chance at Superstar is more valuable than him even playing for the playoffs, in my opinion. It's it's that serious, I think. I just think DevOps, especially for certain positions, are that serious. Same with Edmonds. Going inside. And he's going to take that underneath. I sell really hard. And we somehow missed the tackle. He's breaking every single tackle. Who is that? Number 17. Looks kind of cool, actually. Osborne. KJ Osborne. I think it's probably going to just take one injury for me to be like, okay, that's it. <laughs> We're done. But yeah, definitely want to limit the run game because he obviously has had a pretty good game uh, season with his running back, Allen. And realistically, he's the only thing in our way from uh, having a guaranteed dev up. So I think it's pretty key to try and stop him. I'm going to go with Gordon because that deep out if he takes it and holds on to that, which is a little crazy. But Tyler Boyd is a pretty good uh, player. I really don't like Marquise Brown going up against that guy. And we're going to stop the run. Gains nothing for the one. He can go for this, but this would cost him his go for. Don't know if I really want to sit in uh, mid, but it is what it is. See, the thing is, even though I like, you're supposed to not go for it, right? I kind of just have like no choice but to just allow someone to go for it if it makes sense. And that is perfect coverage. Good job. Mid blitz worked. The coverage was pretty good. And I feel like we're in the wrong playbook. Maybe not. All right. Mooney maybe down the field here. That's a great throw and catch of 22. I have a weird feeling. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think Mooney's getting 400 yards in this game to get to 1,000. I just, you know, I don't want to, like, spoil it for anyone if you were believing. But I don't. I don't think he is. As Swift gets the edge and a late hit. Yeah. Is it really, though? You know, especially when I can get more yards for my players. Is it really? I don't know. I think that was a little bull crap in general. Swift. Good play to the four-yard line. It was his user, so I was like, screw it. Definitely not going to get, you know, any, like, awards based on catches. So those kind of touchdowns don't really matter to me. It's more about the rushing touchdowns. Swift not going to get it. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go with double slant. My guess is I would have to hold him to zero rushing touchdowns, and we ourselves would have to put up, uh, like, three at least. Best case. Man, Field's going to run in. Not really anything that helps me with him rushing in touchdowns either because I do not believe we have a chance at MVP, but... Any touchdown I can get, I'm going to take. It's a weird game because it's a game that should mean nothing to me. But if anything, I'm risking my players for stats that just wasted me there. And he loses his starting DT with a torn labrum. If that was me, I don't care who it was. It's like all men off deck. Besides Swift, Edmonds, and Brisker. And Jalen Johnson. And Tyreek Stevens. Okay, a lot of players would still play. Let's be honest. I think it would be Buckner. Actually, I should probably... No, I can't sit Buckner because then, then his run game's going to go off. I should be sitting Buckner, though. Because he doesn't need stats. He's old. Oh, good try. Good play, though. Jalen Johnson, one-on-one. -on -one. A little surprised they allowed him to throw that back. It was pretty late. It's pretty late. Usually, my guys are over the line. Like, well over the line. Backup running backs in. This is 100% a run. Trying to get that backup carry in. Blocks are really good, though. Good tackle. I mean, obviously, he gets out of bounds with the stiff arm, but just being there is big. Dobbins back in again. He might even go for a second one just to get those out of the way. I mean, that's, that is a lot of time to throw for a pretty mid-O-line. I would say these, uh, these players of his are getting hurt, though. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, we have a pretty damn good D-line. Just kind of feel like maybe the sliders are just... Not really set. Yeah, that's a good tackle. Gains a yard. So far, doing pretty well on what I would consider today's big task of stopping the run game. That's my fault. So far, not anymore. Another backup running back. I thought it was going to be an actual play. 
There's nobody on him, but the throw is terrible. I really feel like I have to blitz, like, every time if we want a chance. Thing around that play action is very good, but it's still just, I don't know. That spin move. Doesn't really get him a whole lot. Or the corner blitz. Kind of a cover three look. That corner is out there, though. It's going to be a hell of a bait, which probably is going to leave Dobbins open. That would have maybe been a pick. That bait is always on. Everyone loves the streak when it, when there's no one lined up, and I almost always use it. That, that's probably a pick if that ball is on target. He's had his running his kicker at 28 this whole time. Oh, my Lord. That is something. It is 100% something. I think I'm actually going to run the full-on stretch. Oh, he moved him last second. And there's going to be a holding call that will bring this back. Levitation. Ah, he doesn't need to. See, that's the only thing I don't like about um, declining a penalty, like the, the out-of-bounds thing. Because it's like, I feel bad when a legit penalty comes up and they feel like they owe me one. It's like, I mean, let's be honest, right? Like, mine's a little different. Our guy's just left completely. Cool Komet's not terrible here. The Zig, the one that spawns in. Watch out, strip. It's a little gainer. He brought a little bit of heat. Nobody on that outside might have been able to look at the other routes, but I typically don't really pay attention too much when uh, my main man's just open right away. And that's a DJ Moore touchdown. There is nobody on him. DJ Moore is gone. It ain't even looking that fast. It looks like he pulled the hamstring. I mean, that was just not even close. That coverage, I mean, he got beat off the line. That press, <laughs> damn, our, our safety deep is not really ready. Good job. Crawford doing a good job there. Doing an okay job stopping the run. I know I'm jinxing myself because sooner or later it's going to happen. Edmonds going against McBride. That's a good find over the middle. Osborne. Oh, nice shot to the knees though. Dawson was ready. He was ready to cook. Get wide. Brisker. Nice shot to the knees. Gains nine. See, it's that type. Like, you can't run the... Um, end around but you can run the sweep safety save me nice throw away is that boogie or is that not boogie <laughs> and that's those are the two options it's either boogie or not boogie good tackle but still first not QB contain user over the middle because it's a wide receiver Corners kind of left him. Oh, my. Of all the people that get beat, I mean, Jones isn't great. But of all the people that get beat, I thought it was going to be that that streak down the sideline was more open than anything. can't believe Osborne. <laughs> He's killing us. Oh, there goes Dawson. Free Raj loses four. He's got eight rushes already for a loss, pretty much. I mean, it's 18 yards. We're not doing much better, but we are limiting this run game, which... Going in was easily our biggest worry. And we can't get vertical. Our cornerback's not really doing super well there, but does enough. Blitzing the middle linebacker. Gordon's probably going to get cooked. He actually does mix up his running backs quite a bit. That's a pretty good play for his guy, and it is caught, but now his center is injured. And I would say this is probably where his running back makes his money. At the two-yard line. And our guy just misses him. Touchdown to Allen, but that doesn't hurt me. The best running back award is won by rushing touchdowns and rushing yards, not receiving. I'm pretty sure we had him man... Oh, maybe we didn't, actually. If there was a receiver over there, then it was definitely the receiver we had manned up. But I had to cover the wide receiver, obviously. But I could have had someone over there on him. Maybe I should have just pulled off the D-line... Ran a hook with a D lineman, and then used the running back with Eddie. Good moves, but barely even getting past the 25. I mean, I kind of want to... I don't think I can audible again, otherwise I'm going to get a penalty. That's pretty on target. Caught all the way down to the 30. That corner is getting cooked. And it would not surprise me if that's his number one corner. There's not really much he can do.
Look what do you do? Take out your number one corner? There's Swift. Good user. I didn't even have a chance to hit the A. He was obviously hit an A because, well, that's, that's how you tackle, usually. Although, not if you're me, though. Bench, I really wish this was more on the, uh, the actual deep route. DJ Moore catching that with ease. That's him. He don't really sell those too often. Needed more games like this with uh, Mooney, though. And Swift gets it all the way down to the two. Are we allowed to hurry up here? Like, will it let me run it? He ran commit. Good play by him. Uh, same kind of, like, inside zone base. Run it. And Swift is down to the one. What do you run? Does the pitch work? Mooney motion. I think this is pretty obvious a run, though, if we motion him. I mean, Swift's doing everything he can, but he loses yards because the pitch play just doesn't work. He pinches the whole line. Unless he switched last second, I wasn't paying attention. Pinches the whole line, and the pitch play just gets completely smoked. Don't know why I tried the pitch. Let's be honest. It don't work. Pitch plays don't work this year. The, uh... Like the fake handoff sweep. I can't really even explain what it is. Like there's just certain plays that just don't work. Like the blocking just doesn't engage the way it's supposed to. And it just it's just a wasted play. I mean, Eddie Jackson's not in a bad spot here. It's pretty good coverage. I don't know if uh, the slot receiver on the inside maybe makes a play on that. Let's go back to man coverage, which really did not work for us at all. I'm going to go with Jones on Marquise. You should know we're using that. Late handoff. Good D. Not going to call a timeout because I don't really know where this is going just yet. This zone press is so hit or miss for me, but when it hits, it's on another level. I got bumped. It's a good find because I just completely left it. If I didn't get bumped, though, I'm in the middle of the field. That's where I'm sitting on that play. And some pressure. Dropping Edmonds back hard. The running back will be open here, though. Oh, I got blocked up. Good tackle. But that's, I mean, realistically, that's just going for stats. Unless he's going for the field goal, but usually the field goal in this situation is pretty guaranteed. Once again, just no pressure at all. All game long. I know that one we did bring only three, but... Ironically enough, that's probably the best pressure we had so far this game. I'm going to actually play a little bit of coverage. Drop everyone back a little bit. Really far throw to the outside. Gains five. I think you bring the blitz. You don't move anyone over, so you can't really tell. And then maybe we drop the safety deep, and I use it. Could have a curl route to his corner. Oh, what a play. Edmund should have picked that, though. He predetermined that to his guy all day. That should have been a pick. It's almost as bad as me at the goal line with those swift runs. Kick is up, and good. I really don't like the way my guys are literally running into the kicker, though. It's so dumb. We do get ball at half, so up four, as long as you don't make a huge mistake here, isn't terrible. Normally, I'd return these, but that is deep. Deep with limited time. Let's run a straight up streak with Cole Komet. Good user attempt by him. That's DJ Moore right there. I really don't want, you know, I, I don't think DJ Moore needs the, uh, you know, the jukebox. I don't think Swift needs a jukebox. So I am a little worried about Swift getting a dev up because right now he's honestly kind of perfect as is. No? DJ Moore, do you really trust that one-on-one? -on -one? I don't think he's actually pressing, but... There's no way he catches that. That's actually insane, and they won't give me the tackle. How? He's open. I, I don't know what you want from me there. He's literally open. Over the shoulder. Floating in the sky. My guys would never. They would never. Well, unless he makes a mistake, he should at least keep this rather close. 
you can't tell me that's not for like stats. Like there, there's just not really much that that throw does in terms of getting points, right? Five seconds for five yards. That's just stats. Let's not lie to ourselves. Backing up. I think this is a quick out to Marquise. Oh, you don't need to when it's that open over the middle. Have to shoot the shot to the knees. I don't really want to run the blitz. But I think I will. If he runs a slant, I think I can cover this with Edmonds. And that's a pick for Brisker. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, no. That was a good freaking play, though. I got to give him credit. Brisker with a huge pick. Might even lock up best DB. He's got his best guy on that left, but all those DBs on the right... Swift with about eight. Up by four with ball. It's a close one. And of course it glitched over. I tried to change our focus to outside runs and it skipped over to short passing. So we may lose with a shorter pocket to, to throw from because that's the one that says like degration, right? Faster degration. As Valus slips away. That's what he does. One more for the road. Not bad. I don't know how many that man has, but, you know, we've had a couple of just straight up run, you know, run backs where you don't have to do anything, but we also have had a couple of those cut arounds. Oh my god, look at the blocks. Good job by Brisker, though. Pitch left. Don't know why you would actually pitch. You gotta be some sort of an idiot, and they're not gonna give it to me. That's a dot, technically. Anybody but a linebacker, that's picked. Wrote a blitz there. He still gains a yard, though. Gonna have two guys to cover here. Cuts it outside. Dawson slams him for a loss of one. Run game really hasn't gone anywhere for anyone this game. Last time I ran this, I had the uh, pleasure of playing the middle, and I sold. So let's see. We're on this blitz again, but this time I'm gonna actually cover the middle, I think. At least I'm gonna say I will. Nice hit. He tried to do the same thing again. It makes sense because I'm a little late to it, but, you know, I had a chance to hit him. Our guy hit him for me. Makes it a little easier. Eight-point game. Another kickoff. Velas Jones. Velas with another chance. It's kind of my fault. Did a little too much. John Tucker getting a chance now. Not that I really have to run him much. That left side looks so free. I know he's bringing him up, but I still think it's free. Tucker for 12. Going to come out with the same kind of formation with Tucker. And maybe it, it tricks him. We'll see. Fields got room. Don't fumble. I held right bumper, but, you know... Realistically, anytime any contact happens, I'm thinking fumble. Could be man coverage. Let's see what we got. Oh, my. <laughs> Fields basically just, like, threw that over his back shoulder. Let's see what he runs here. Oh, he can't get it off. It's only going to gain me about five anyways, but it's still something. I do like this play a lot. Usually we hit that uh, that slot wheel. Oh, that's wide open. Mooney probably scores. Dicker, and it gets blocked. My guy's just going to stand there. Good recovery, though. That's my luck. Brisker's nowhere near his man. I mean, that's a mad blitz, and we get... We allow three. Like, imagine I don't have that heavy of a formation. I mean, we're giving up yards. Is my guy going to get to him? Come on, Uche. I'm going to have to run commit because he... Or not run commit, QB contain. Because he's coming off that edge running a lot. And I wonder if maybe if he does that one of these times we just get the insta shed. Because usually that's what they give you if you contain while that happens. I trust Stevenson. He has, a he has a little bit of leverage. What a hit. Another little short throw, though. Everything's been so short against us. And it's not like I'm, like, playing only deep. Like, we have our guys on him. Like, I can't really play any tighter with press or anything like that. 
It's been nothing but like little double move short plays. It's really hard to cover. Potential RPO over to Boyd. And we're good D again. I mean, this run defense is, is doing well. Another short play. Potential switch back to the right. Good D. Dawson against the running back. I contain edge. Turn around. I gotta make the play. What a blast, though. I think you run that 4-3 and just... Hope you get the blitz. Maybe you go wide, actually. Oh, that's a good pick. Eddie Jackson pick six. Best safety duo in the league. Don't at me. Don't even at me. But it helps him. I know he's not going to win the game, and it's going to hurt his seeding, perhaps, or maybe not even make the playoffs. I'm not really sure how competitive this conference is. It seems pretty tough. There could be a 10 and 17 that misses. You don't test them. I actually don't know how they're so good, to be honest. The max open, get out there. Dawson, okay, I was going to use it the D-line, but I can't now. <laughs> this is crazy. Perfect blocks. Damn wide receiver blocking me like a, a tight end. I've got a linebacker, and it's Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown is so tiny. I mean, all these play action plays, they're so tough. Because even when I bring a lot of players down, his guys are winning. I'm glad that went to fourth because I was not ready for that. Third quarter. Usually it's the second quarter we do well, but last couple of games, third quarter has been, you know, kind of the, the juicer. Does suck that it wasn't Brisker, though. I think we're in a good spot to hold on to best DB for Brisker, but that was a pick six for Brisker instead of um, Eddie. That's really good. Another short play. I mean, it's impossible to stop. You, I don't need to go to those, so that's why I just don't. Like, we go pretty deep for the most part. All start. That's why I've been trying to blitz, because we get no base pressure. His line's, I mean, it's okay, but it's not that good. We got everyone covered. Fair enough. Got Osborne on this. Kind of pay attention if it's a slant. Oh, come on. Another short play. Another short route, bro. Literally everything short. I mean, it doesn't matter what I run. Man, zone, shade inside on man, press. Be fair, even with the shade. DJ Moore is looking so open every play, though. Roma Fields. That's about the same as our throw short, anyways. Good job. Good job, Fields. We love that throw. I mean, this is probably a mad blitz. We'll see what we're reading. Gla huh? In what world is that our first down? Gotta challenge that. Okay. Good one, boss. Like, that's actually absurd. Run back left. Who is that? Who even is that? Davenport? So just because you're a superstar, you're a god at the game, apparently. Davenport don't have those ratings. Perfect coverage. Throw it away, at least. You got any goon plays? Read option, I think, is... Or not read option. Play action, I think, is a little easy to see. If I had a read option, I'd go to it. What do I like? This play is not a good play at all. You're basically bailing out for the crosser. I sold. Oh, he sold and then I sold because he sold. I thought he actually made a good play on it and he missed and I was trying to save it. I saw it, the clock was running out in my head and I was like, I, I kind of got to kind of got to just throw this thing. Good hit. I told you, my brain doesn't allow me to go short. I ran what? One drag, and the rest was all, like, 
20, 30 yard shot plays. Like every single one. I just can't do it. That's a good throw. It's just not like my brain won't allow me to. I just find it so boring. And I'm just like, okay, what's the next play that'll get me 20 yards? <laughs> what's ironic is a lot of those drags actually got me like 60, 70, 80 yard touchdowns this season. So realistically, I should be like, hey, bring me the short route. I'm down. Of course. Don't know why. I keep forgetting you can't hit stick behind the line of scrimmage. They will bounce off of it nine times out of ten. Lack of pressure is killing us as well. It's really unfortunate. Ooh, I almost had that. Let's understand how we're not getting any pressure. Like, this, his line's killing it right now. It's crazy. If this is the way our team plays in the playoffs, we are not in a good spot. I can tell you that much. Tackle. Now he's got switched off to the wrong guy. I mean, it's just been all drags. Fumble. It's not going to count forward. Running against the tight end. I mean, how many drags? As much as I want to bait the mid, our pass rush has done nothing all game long. So if I bait it, cool, man. It's not going to do anything. It's a good try by me, but he's going to get it barely. I mean, I might as well just blitz again. Not going to stop the drag, but at least we can maybe get to him before he gets the throw off, perhaps. Good D. I didn't even realize that was Edmonds on him. Holy crap. Edmonds cooked there. I'm gonna actually let Boogie I'm gonna I'm gonna play him back here. Oh, if I would have got that, what a catch. That was on that. I did like his guy is hitting the perfect throw at the worst time for me. I thought he was gonna keep that. Oh, we got burn streak. Free form. Oh, he's going with the, the like timing one. Doing enough to stop the run. And he misses. Oh my, what a find. Got the back of running back in. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Oh my god. Will he see the screen? No way. That would have been an insane throw if he hits that. Might be a Scott play on the inside. Good catch. That gives us a chance. I think you gotta go for this. Our defense is kind of sold, like, all game long. I have one go for. My problem is I'm kind of wasting some clock. I mean, just bumped all day. Got to run commit. Be a good play for him to run a drag on. Not a dragon. A drag on. I mean, I kind of have to play a light box here. I don't know if he actually does throw it, but... I mean, we can't stop the uh, the drag anyways. I don't know what else I do. We got the tight end. Oh, nice. Finally. Only takes the whole team to get in. At least we bought ourselves a chance. Pick is up, and he'll have the three-point lead. Obviously, with Velas, you return this every day of the week. And he had, I didn't fight that, so if he fumbled, he had a chance there. It was worth the try, I think. Just need a field goal, so. I'm not trying to get the whole play out here, but the verticals is a pretty good play. Leaves DJ Moore, you never know. Don't think he presses, though. Oh, my God. All right, looking at the numbers, Fields was not great. And, I mean, say what you want, but the short plays, it, it performs. I mean, you see those numbers. It absolutely performs. Uh, Fields' runs, I think, I don't even know, at least two count as, like, actual runs. So, it is what it is. So, you don't really need backup carries, technically. But uh, we limited his running back. He limited our running back. And, ultimately, we just couldn't stop the short pa pass. I, I'm not really sure. If somebody hits us with that in the postseason, what you can do I have got to be patient enough to do that myself, and I just don't have that patience. It just feels 
so boring to me. I just can't do it. But if I'm struggling to throw anything else and, you know, the defense is going to be playing that far off at times, maybe that's what I got to do. You know, instead of uh, trying to play my normal game, I got I to gotta adjust. And I just didn't do it there. So maybe that's a good game to get out of the way right before the playoffs is now we're kind of like, okay, okay, maybe we're not as undefeated or, uh, you know, unbeatable as we think we are. Damn, I can't believe Stevenson missed this. When I first saw this, I couldn't really tell. He put his hand right on the ball. It was like the damn Space Jam uh, scene where they're trying to get their damn powers back. <laughs> but it was a hell of a try. Don't know how the hell he didn't get that, but don't think it really matters first down anyways. But like in general, the, like, the principle of it, if this is the, the read that's being made and it's that close in man coverage... And it's still being completed. How do you stop that? Like, how do you genuinely stop the double drag? Like, I really don't know how. It doesn't help that I bring... How many bodies is this? Six versus five? And we're not getting there in, like... How many seconds? One second. Two seconds. I mean, he has, like, three-plus seconds to throw with a six-man. I mean, that's just GG at that point. What a try, but... Yeah, we, uh, we have to play by the rules of the game, I think. You know? If our deep stuff isn't working, we gotta go back to the short stuff. And the run game well, yeah, it was okay, but it really wasn't great. So, you know, I can't, I can't really blame us for leaving that in the dust, to be honest. But either way, GG to the opponent was finally a really close game. So I'm, uh, I'm all about that. And it was tough to try and stop. So, like I said, that might be the really perfect, good timing game to have, you know, right before the playoffs. It, wakes us up a little bit and say okay okay maybe uh maybe there's you know some things that can beat us maybe we got to work on some things like honestly i i don't know why like why this game even has exclusive rights like what is this i'm not saying this is a touchdown but i'll tell you what if he blocks him it's one-on-one -on -one against buddha baker who i mean it's a pretty even angle at that point i mean it's not a good spot to be in but he has a chance no chance when your guy just doesn't engage in the block. If he gets beat, fair enough. But that's not what happened. He just didn't engage in the block. Velas Jones, the only guy that really showed up to play, to be honest. I'm trying to think of who else. Maybe DJ Moore, I suppose. Uh, playmaker. Try to get that juke move up and whatnot. He's really bad at juke move. But his main thing is just that speed. Uh, I don't know how many kick return touchdowns he has. But we'll find out, obviously, next week uh, when we do the stats and awards. And because we have that... I think so. Maybe I sold... Uh, we have that bye week. Uh, I'm probably going to have the stats and awards on its own because there's going to be a little bit of a break in between for me at least, which could, you know, kind of cause me to be a little short on, you know, episodes and whatnot. But yeah, we'll uh, have the stats and awards most likely, assuming it's not like super short. And then the divisional round, whoever uh, is going to be in it. Do we have a playoff pitcher just yet? Packers at the six seed, Saints at the seven. So we'd be playing against either the Saints, the Packers, or the Buccaneers, or potentially the Cardinals. I don't think it's possible to play the other two, right? It's, it's impossible. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's one of those four teams we just listed. So we'll see who we, uh, we play. Hopefully we play a little bit better and we're actually a little more well-equipped to... Uh, to win a game if it comes down to, you know, short plays or the run game. Because I think we did well in the run game, but I think it also did sacrifice some in the pass game. But at the same time, we were up close to the line of scrimmage. We were pretty tight on most of our players. Zone was a little iffy at times, but I just think it's genuinely, you know, it's a really fast team that we're going against there, and the short plays in general are pretty tough. It's just a perfect storm, really. You know, you got Marquise Brown, Trey McBride's really fast for a tight end, obviously, and I don't think Rondale was even allowed to play, but... It's got a little bit of speed there, and it's it's a problem. Um, but yeah, bringing a lot of big bodies to try to stop the run, and you're going to leave those underneaths open. But yeah, Gigi to the opponent, he played well, and unfortunately, we didn't really do much for our, you know, not about the loss, but we didn't really do much for our uh, potential dev ups. Brisker, I suppose, maybe locked up uh, DB of the year with the, the interception he had because he had one lead up on the person that was second place, so now he should have two picks of a lead. Uh, whether or not he does, probably doesn't matter because A, he'll probably get X-Factor anyways, and B, even if he doesn't, Superstar for a safety is perfectly fine. Just hoping we did enough this season for Uche, Johnson, Swift. Those are the names. Edmonds would be great, but, you know, does he really need it? Probably not. Would I take it? Absolutely. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, you enjoyed the regular season of Season 2, which obviously, whether we win the Super Bowl or we lose first game, we're going to have a Season 3 no matter what. Maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really do appreciate your support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, second channel, Pick Care Plays for non-mounted content. And that is basically it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see